I lost. Hi, welcome at the Electro Labs. Um, I would like to present the AVR Playground, this board on which I just played uh, Simon Says. Simon Says is a simple game from the 80s and you can play it on the, the playground, but it's just an application, a demo application. The AVR Playground is a development board for AVR microcontrollers. It is Arduino compatible and as such you have here the same uh, microcontroller as on an Arduino Uno, like this one. But there is lots more. Of course you can develop applications with a normal Arduino, but then you need lots of wires and shields to add to the Arduino, uh, like this for instance. Which is nice, but you don't get a real good device. Uh, wires are broken easily, connections are bad, etc. It's better to develop an application on a real microcontroller development board on which you already have some um, peripherals like push buttons, uh, display, a power supply, analog inputs or analog signals for analog inputs, a buzzer, extension connectors for add-on shields and add-on boards, etc. So with this in mind, we developed the AVR Playground. It is compact because we like to have it uh, small, it should be portable, um, yet quite extensive. For instance, in this part, we have push buttons that control every I.O. port on the microcontroller. For every push, bu push button, you can set the level, high or low, with a dip switch, one of these. For every port, there is also an LED. I don't know if you can see them, but they're just above the push buttons. So you have full control over every I.O. port. Then there are analog inputs on the microcontroller. The Arduino connector is this one. Do you know them probably? We have six analog inputs and to play with them we have two analog signals controlled by these two potentiometers that you can connect to any of these six uh, analog inputs with a jumper. It's always nice to have a way to display data on a uh, development board, so that is why we have an LCD here. This is not a normal parallel 4-bit, 8-bit interface LCD, but an I2C uh, display, um, which has the advantage that it only uses uh, two wires instead of uh, eight or six. Uh, but the inconvenience is that you need a special library. Luckily, we also developed the library to control the display, so you don't have to carry, uh, worry about that. Then uh, we have a rotary encoder, also for uh, the user input, of course, and we have a buzzer to make sounds. There are extension connectors to which you can uh, connect uh, add-on shields, shields here for the Arduino. And this is a special microbus slot from uh, Micro Electronica. They have lots of uh, hundreds of sensor boards that you can plug on this board. So you have a choice of sensors that you can use with the AVR playground. Then we have here a nice power supply, a good quality power supply instead of a flimsy uh, wall board or something. Here you can have a, you have a short circuit protection and over temperature protection, etc. Good 5 volts for the AVR, uh, the, for the microcontroller, for the shields. But also a good 3 volt, 3 volts here for shields that need a lower voltage. Then here we have some configuration dip switches which allow you to, for instance, change the board voltage, or the MCU voltage, I must say, from 5 volts to 3 volts 3. When it's 5 volts, this LED is red. And when I switch the board to 3 volts 3, this dip switch... Oh, I launched my game. There we go. The LED becomes blue, meaning that the voltage is low, blue, cold. Um, and the MCU is now running at uh, 3 volt 3. Let's switch it back to 5. For no particular reason, actually. Oop. All the peripherals, the display, the potentiometers, the rotary encoder, etc. can be, the push buttons also and the LEDs, can be disconnected from the microcontroller. So, if you want, you don't need to use any of this. Just put in your shield here or an extension here, 
that has your circuitry and that controls is controlled by the microcontroller or that sends data to the microcontroller. To communicate with the PC or to put to charge to load programs into it, we have the typical USB to serial converter here on board. It goes to a micro USB cable into the PC. The USB to serial uh, chip is also completely disconnectable. In two ways actually, you can disconnect it by jumpers. And which is important, you can uh, disconnect the shield from the serial port. Sometimes you have a shield that uses the serial port of the microcontroller and it, has a, it is loading the serial port and makes reprogramming the microcontroller impossible because it blocks the serial port. In that case you have to disconnect the board, switch it off, etc. Remove the shield, reprogram it, put the shield back on and you can finally test it, which is tedious of course. So here you have the possibility to disconnect the serial port from the programmer. So when you want to program a, the microcontroller without removing the shield, you can change the, switch this set, change the setting of this switch, giving free way to the uh, USB uh, programmer. Uh, there is also here this connector allowing you to connect the USB to serial converter to other pins on the microcontroller instead of the UART. So you can use, for instance, the software UART to talk to the PC over USB without doing anything, just connect it. Then the dip switches, of course, you will forget what they are for, which is why on the back side, on the rear side of the board, we wrote the, the functions, their functions here. Same is for the pins, so you can, you just have to flip over the board to see which pin carries what signal. Um, the AVR playground is described in this book, in chapter 12. Here we have the AVR playground chapter which describes the hardware in detail, the board layout, part of the schematic. The schematic is quite big, so if you want to see the full schematic, you have to download it from the, from the internet, from the electoral website. It explains how to install the AVR Playground into the Arduino IDE, which I have running here on my PC. It has, of course, tables explaining all the dip switch settings. And um, it is, after uh, installing the IDE, it explains, it has a programming example where we use a lot of the peripherals on the board to play the Simon Says game. So you can find all this in chapter 12, detailed uh, programming example with explanations, not only for the hardware, but also for the software. Why do we use a function in a certain way? It's an uh, educational exercise with a nice photo of the board playing Simon Says, so it's, here we have it. The book also has, uh, by the way, a chapter on the uh, Elector Uno R4, I have it here, which has the 80 Mega 328PB, the B version of the 80 Mega 328, which offers much more functions than the normal Arduino. So if you have want, are looking for an extended Arduino Uno, take the Elector Uno R4. So now I go back to playing my game. I didn't get very far the first time. Maybe I get some, I get uh, better results now. The problem is, it's all a matter of memory. This is easy. But when we get past three, it becomes complicated to memorize four different steps. Still correct. And of course, when I make a mistake, the game is over. But it restarts and lets you play again. If you want to know more about the AVR Playground, then you can check out our internet website, uh, elector.com or electorlabs.com, where you can find the software and the design files for the board. And you can also uh, subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more information. Thank you for watching and have a nice uh, Arduino AVR experience. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.